Hello YouTubers. Oh, and uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. I live in Hong Kong and we're expecting uh, some interesting uh, weather activity very soon over here. And uh, we have a typhoon that's just passing us now. And that goes by the name, uh, as you can tell in the title, that goes by the name, and excuse my pronunciation, Bari Jat. And that's just skimmed here, I'll show you the map. So that's just skimmed underneath uh, Hong Kong. Obviously the red pin is uh, Hong Kong right there. And that's gonna make landfall probably first over Hainan Island and then into uh, Vietnam. And they've raised a T3 warning. Uh, the T3 warning basically means that uh, kindergartens can close earlier, though look at the time. Kindergarten should be closed at this time of day. And the next one will be a T5, and that's when things get really serious. But we're not expecting one. It hasn't really rained much. It's just spitting here. So it's not a big deal at the moment, but it's the, uh, the super. So this is a, a, a Hong Kong local weather app, but we've got one coming called the Super Typhoon. Um, that's his name there. It's called Mankahut. It's an odd name. Doesn't sound very English sounding, of course. And just going off the legend, there it is at the moment, uh, just in front of the Philippines in the Philippine Sea. And inside the yellow is uh, basically a 70% chance of where it's going to land. And this is basically the mother of all storms. And typically these types of storms have in the past actually gone through Hong Kong. So this is pretty accurate. So we're expecting uh, some calamity uh, on Sunday and the weather will get progressively worse um, as the days go by. So I'm going to do a quick uh, live, live stream now, just to explain that I'm gonna do probably one live stream a day, just to show you what it's like as the, uh, the weather gets worse and worse. And uh, who knows, we might get some uh, interesting uh, views out of it. So I live on Hong Kong Island, and it's, uh, it's not densely populated as much as the Kowloon side. So uh, actually, here's a great example. So there's Quarry Bay, and here's the jungle. The jungle is literally here. There's no, there's no buildings over there. So typically we expect uh, some fallen trees, some flooding, and um, that's it, hopefully. Hopefully no one gets uh, hurt. Uh, if you're new to Hong Kong itself, basically Hong Kong manages all its slopes. So all of these have like a registration number. So we don't get any uh, serious mudslides in the, uh, in the city area, but it's, uh, yeah, anyway, it's gonna be really interesting. Um, the reason for the naming, by the way, is that all the Asian countries contribute uh, the names to all the storms. Unlike in the Atlantic, which they go through like a pool of 21 names. Uh, in Asia, when, it's, when you're naming a, a typhoon or a hurricane, there's like an unlimited pool of names that you can pick from. And uh, typically the Japanese will uh, select the name. I don't know why it's the Japanese actually. Hey, I worked out how to chat in landscape. Uh, well done, balls. <laughs> so anyway, just a short video. Uh, this is just a preview. It's, it's a little bit windy. It's spitted a little bit, so we've missed the first storm. But the one to look out for is the uh, Super Typhoon, uh, which is coming in four days. And uh, like I say, I'll do a video each day just to give you an update on, uh, on the weather situation here and other local news. So thank you for watching. It's all relatively quiet here. Um, I guess the action um, will be later. But anyway, bye-bye.